Yo, what's up guys? I'm going to be showing you how to play some more Ghana Jungle today. We're not going to be doing Dark Harvest this time because Dark Harvest takes forever to scale, even though it is super, super strong late game. Instead, we're going for Glacial Augment and we're going to be going more for a slow build. We have Ingenious Hunter and Glacial Augment and War Ganks are actually way better as well. So we're going to get our ward down. The cool thing about Morgana Jungle is people don't expect it. So when you pick it, they don't really try to counter pick you, but you always have that X factor on Morgana. You can start wherever you want. You can solo start wraps, you can solo start wolves, you can uh, start with AD carry. In this particular game, I'm going to solo start wolves. I already have my red side warded. And uh, I don't want Scion to actually start in my jungle here. So I'm actually going to check this because Scions have a habit of uh, doing cheesy shit. So I'm going to watch this little plant right there. So yeah, I didn't see him over there, so there's a pretty good chance he doesn't. You just start W and uh, you can clear pretty healthy. Just try to kite it around inside of your pool. Make sure you don't put it on the outside of it. So that plant's still there, as you can still see. And we see Cyan's top, so we're good to go. Whenever you're playing against someone like Cyan, make sure you always check your buff. There's a really good chance you might try to cheese it. Now, even here at level two, we can take Blue and Gromp at the same time, and we have our red side worded right now. That's when we backed. So we have a pretty good idea of like what's going on on the map. So don't let the blue buff hit you here. Like try to. You can't have two pools down at the same time when you're kiting them together because your W gets lower on cooldown. We're actually going to smite our blue buff because we're taking a lot of damage. But you see how we have multiple pools up at once. That's how you clear it. You're going to hit your refillable potion. You do get kind of low, but that's okay. So at this point, you could actually look for a gank. I think we're actually going to go for a gank here. Scion's shoving up really far. I have my E. Uh, you can either sell your biscuits or use them in ganks like this. I have enough HP and mana though. I have my Glacial Augment, so I'm going to hit him with a slow. It's rude in point blank range. Alright, we're out. Alright, that's good. So now we're going to go to our red side. Unfortunately, we have no mid prowl, so there's a good chance Elise might have snuck her way over there, which is kind of dumb. Oh, uh, we'll get our blue smite, we'll get a pink ward, and we're good to go. So with this setup, guys, since you have Glacial Augment, you want to make sure when you gank people, not only do you... Oh, God. Not only do you want to come up behind them, but you want to hit them with autos before you Q them. Once you have them super slowed in your point blank range, you can hit them with a Q. And it comes out so fast, that usually won't flash it, because they just have very little time to react. We're going to check for Elise over here. And uh, we're actually going to get a pink ward down right there. It's a really good spot to put it, so if Elise tries to do deep ganks... Or Rumble tries to do deep ganks. Okay, we see at least top there. She has 20 CS. Morgana can take Scuttle Crabs pretty well here. I think I'm going to go bot lane because enemies are just shoved up so far. And you want to max your W first. Your Q second, E last normally. It's your best clears. Uh, I think this is warded now. Yeah. I don't think they're paying attention though. They're just all in it. We got the Janna there. I'm gonna flash him with an auto. <laughs> that was actually really good for us. Alright, I'm gonna go get that scuttle crab here. That was really, really big. At least top side will ping it out for our teammate. We can come mid. Make sure you snare it and then hit it with the W and try to keep it in your pool. Whenever you're hitting big monsters with your W, it puts it on a much shorter cooldown. We can't gank mid, so we're going to push into the enemy's jungle here. Morgana's damage is actually really high. I'm surprised Morgana jungle doesn't get picked in pro play. I've seen her picked in challenger on multiple regions, but I think she'd be a really good pick in pro play. Like, you could set up a Vayne or a Kog'Maw bot side, pick Yumi, or get just really any kind of pill champion. And then you can pick, like, Galio mid, and your AD carry will actually be unkillable. Because the black shield soaks so much damage, and you can't CC someone if they have black shield on. They're, they're, they're immune. So Lise is missing all of her jungle now. Morgana can farm pretty fast too. Once she has two points in her W, I can take this shit pretty quick. And the spell vamp you get from your passive, bonus damage, I mean bonus healing, 20% healing against champions and uh, large minions and monsters, like, actually makes her really sustainable. Like I'm still full HP. So we can sell these biscuits or use them in a fight if we want to here. If you want to see runes, items, everything, go to the very start of the video. I'm going to run up, blue smite him and auto him. Gonna got her, got him. So as you see, I held on to my snare because your snare is all of your pressure. 
So what I did was I just ran up and I slowed the crap out of Janna with my Glacial Augment auto attack. So she couldn't really uh, get away there. So I hit the Janna. I still had my Q, so she ran this way. She didn't want them both to die. I didn't really get a chance to use my Q snare. I think Elise might be in my jungle. That's what Yumi's saying. I don't know what those pings were for. I'll leave the golems run over here. Yeah, my my raptors are gone. Mm -hmm. And I already have my hourglass. That's awesome. It's really, really good for us. Uh, all right. So we have our hourglass. That's actually really huge to get it this soon. That's super, super early. You're normally not going to get it that fast. All right, looks like my blue is going to be up in uh, 40. So we'll just take wolves in back. We should have backed after the... After the... Wool, uh, golems, honestly. Since our we could have timed it to be here perfectly when my blue spawned. And we should still be here on time. We'll do blue gromp same time. We'll be level 6. We might go top after that. But we have full jungle item. So after your full jungle item, you normally want to get sork shoes or at least boots of speed. In this case, I don't have the gold, so I'm just going to get my full jungle item, another pink ward. And uh, after that, we'll get boots. And then the next item you want to get with Glacial Augment is you want to get the Twin Shadows because it's super, super cheap. The GLP is 400 more gold, so you can get the Shadow for very, very cheap. And it's very strong in ganks because of the massive slow. Your Glacial Augment makes your any of your slows much, much more powerful on your items. That's why we're going to be rushing into that. It's going to make our ganks really amazing. It's going to make... Uh, our team fight's really good, our peel really good. And so whenever you do blue and gromp, you want to be at least level 2 so you can take them at the same time. If you're level 2, you can take blue and gromp at the same time on Morgana, which is crazy. I, I'm serious, guys. I think Morgana is, like, such a good pick. As long as you have the right AD carry. So we have a vein, so this is actually a really good time to pick Morgana. If, we, if you have, like, an Ezreal or something, it's not amazing. You want an AD carry that can really shred. But yeah, Morgana is super, super strong if you clear on her properly. She also has really good invade potential. If you invade with Glacial Augment, just like one auto attack and it's like a NASA slow. I don't know where Zed's going. He's just roaming for no reason. Alright, we got Rumble Flash. That's pretty big. Not bad. I used my ulti. I still had my Hourglass and some Biscuits to use in that fight. The biscuits are good because you can use them in fights, like really close fights and heal. Or you can just sell them for 30 gold a piece, which is really nice. Oh wow. I need to get my thing on him. This adds obnoxious. I can see why he's lost his last four games in a row with really bad KDAs. Oh boy. Alright, let's go ahead and do let's go ahead and go bot. That was bizarre. Couldn't really save him there. Bot's probably my best gank. They're playing super aggro. I'll go ahead and hit a biscuit. Pop my sweeper. Wow, they're losing. I need to speed up Yumi. I'm gonna hit another biscuit. Got him. Nice, nice, nice. See, I want to get an auto attack on him first to slow him. I don't know how Vayne's dying. We pressured bot so much and at least hasn't come here like at all. Uh, we really should finish shoving that in. The wave's fucked now. We should have stayed and shoved. I'm just going to go ahead and meet the team. They're doing lots of bad pings and not no useful information. Gonna move on to golems here. Morgana has really good full clear option, but it's not ideal. Normally, once you're level three on Morgana, you wanna start setting up ganks if they're on the map. Like you don't force it. You only do it if you feel like you can get a kill. Cyan was shoved up playing hyper aggro, so I knew it would most likely be a kill. And it was it felt very safe because I was full HP level three with blue buff. But you don't really wanna gank out on level two on Morgana. It's very cheese and it can set you super far behind. Just get level three gank. You can even do a full perfect full clear if you want but you'll need blue buff to do full clear start blue buff side otherwise you'll run out of mana max q second and you should be pretty much full hp in your jungle once you are uh kind of level three and just clearing up it's one nice thing about it. it's also very safe if someone like graves or olaf's and maze you can just snare and run away or just black shield run away 
So it's, it's actually a very safe pick. Just follow the way I clear, guys, and you should be fine. And run these runes. Go to the start of the video if you want to see the exact runes, level order, item order, all that stuff. You'll find it all in that one place. Scion's way, way, way aggressive here. This area's probably warded since Elise was just here. Just gonna hit him with a W. Gonna ult him. Mm, couldn't really save her there. I think Rumble roamed on this. I'm just gonna back. Bot lane's still losing. This is gonna be like a hyper carry, guys. We just can't get caught. We'll go Sork Shoes straight into the Ghosts. That'll get us around the map. We'll go straight into the Twin Shadows here. It's crazy. Bot lane hasn't been ganked once, and we've gone there like three or four times, and they're still losing. But I know we can carry this. Morgana is actually a bit of a hyper carry. As long as you don't get yourself killed early. You want to try to avoid 1v1 fights on Morgana early. You're not going to win many 1v1s. Just focus level 3, you do a gank if you want, or you can full clear. She actually has a lot of options compared to other junglers. Because she can clear or gank at level 3. She can full clear and be very healthy, that kind of thing. We're going to auto him before we Q. Mm, we should have black shielded a little sooner. We're going to keep our little... Our glacial augment slows are pretty big. My black shield's still on cooldown. I black shielded way too late there. Not bad. So the only thing I should have really done differently is I should have black shielded the Janna CC. That was my bad. Other than that though, you want to try to get down your glacial augment auto before you Q. That way you have much higher chance of landing it. Because if they juke out your Q, then you can't hold them in your dark soil. In your tormented soil. Tor tormented shadow. I don't know why they named it that. I'm just going to call it your dark soil. If you can't hold them in your dark soil, then uh, you're missing out on a lot of your damage. So your ulti and your Q are great tools, but normally you have to auto them with your glacial augment to set that up. Or use your twin shadows, but I don't have that yet. Morgana, once you have your full jungle item, you can solo dragon super easily. You do lots of damage to it. Got her. Got him, boys. I can heal off the golems. Basically hit her with my ult, hit the hourglass. She came out stunned and I snared her point blank range and she died. And your W does a lot of damage. If you can ult them on your W or snare them and then W them, basically keep them on your, your dark soil for as long as possible. And it does an insane amount of damage since we're actually maxing it first. Oh, that sucks. I'll just gank it. They're, they won't expect. This Lucian's super, super aggro. I'll have to back off here. We don't have Yumi. She backed for whatever reason. Alright, we're just going to clear up. We're over ganking a bit. We still have a lot of CS. 95 CS as a jungler. 14 minute mark is pretty decent. We're going to gank this rumble. We can flash auto him if we really need to. I don't know why Yumi detached from us. We're going to blue smite him. Auto. Snare. He's even in turret range. Not bad. At least mid side. We'll go ahead and move on to the next camp. Just w, Q, Q, W. Just make sure it's inside of your soil. And you can kite it towards the next camp with your next soil if you really want to. We're going to pull these bad boys together. Make sure you pull the blue to Gromp, guys. Do as I do. Don't do Gromp to blue. Gromp doesn't pull out as far. Gromp's a stubborn guy, so you got to pull the blue to the Gromp just like I'm doing here. Do as I do. Okay, you got blue Gromp, pretty much full HP. We can go in for a gank. We'll check for Ward, Sweeper, Scion way out of position. I really will go up behind him. I'll get down my Glacial Augment and ulti and snare him. Hopefully she blocks his ult. I'll black shield her. She needs to get on him though. I'm going to ulti and then snare him. After they're ulti, it's easy to snare. That minion actually did get in my way though. Holy cow, this dude's fast. As long as you ulti them, snare's free. Or while they're ultied, you, if you really want, you can snare them. But it's usually better to spread out your CC. If you know it's going to be hard to kill them and you need to hold them still for as long as possible, normally you'll like hit them with an auto, slow them, you'll ulti them. And then right as they're about to come out of the stun, you'll snare them point blank range. 
just in that specific scenario the minion legit just got out of my way so at this point we're really really powerful whenever we go in for ganks we black shield whoever's gonna get cc'd so there i thought Sion was gonna ult and i really would soak the cc with my black shield on and the black shield soaks magic damage so if they break it then they can start cc'ing you but if they're hitting you with ad damage like scion does then the black shield just stays on you for the full like five second duration and you just can't be cc'd which is insane not being able to be cc'd is just super strong in fights we have our ghosts now we're going to be using those in these ganks Jana, way out of line here see how slowed they are it's crazy I'm gonna blue smite him and run away. He's actually doing a lot of damage. I need Yumi to use her Q. I'm gonna snare her. She's dead. Nice. Very, very powerful combo, guys. Really surprised we're not seeing Morgana in the pro scene. It's very strong. Very, very strong. Even my CS is pretty high for how much I've been ganking. Just make sure you don't try to gank at level 2. Get level 3, take blue gromp same time. And the thing I really like about Morgana is you can start wherever you want. You can solo start wraps, you can do red and golem. You can start on a buff and just full clear up. Like She has so many clear options. If you are going to start on a buff though, you should get a leash from your teammates. The only camps you should solo start on if you are going to do that is wolves or raptors. Dragons up in 40 seconds. We're building up a massive, massive lead here. Elise's uh, bot side, so we might just push into a jungle. And a really cool thing about this setup is it synergizes really well. The Ingenious Hunter makes our shadows, and we're also going to be getting GLP as well for team fights. It affects active items, which is insane, because that's also going to affect our Hourglass, our Ghost, and our GLP. So all of our active items will constantly be ready to use. They'll always be off of cooldown with ingenious hunter and we'll be able to perma peel or perma chase people down with our glacial augment which is really nice i'm gonna get the scion here i don't know what he's doing he's so far up you can just hit him with ghosts drop a w on his head he's dead <laughs> i mean when he's that slow he can't juke a q anyways he's gonna heal me up here off of my w which is nice we don't have the minions to really keep pushing this in. I should go to Dragon. I don't know what Yumi's doing. Alright. Let's turn on our Sweeper. Yes, yeah, Scion. He couldn't CC us. We had Black Shield on. There's nothing he can do. He's just that low on health. We're going to run up to him. We're going to ult him. I don't know what this Yumi's doing. She keeps detaching for random reasons. She just... Like, that's a free kill. She ha Oh, she DC'd. I was going to say, I'm like, all she has to do is use her abilities and Rumble's dead. But when she detached, I'm not going to go in for that. It's going to take too long to kill him. And I might get collapsed on. I might go for Hourglass next so I don't die. I have a lot of shutdown gold. If you don't have a lot of shutdown gold, you can go for GLP next if you want to. Mm. Yeah, I guess we'll just wait for Yumi to come back before we start making any big plays. We'll just go for Hourglass next. I'm pretty sure it's still cheaper than GLP. Because, we, yeah, it's still cheaper because we already have the free uh, the free stopwatch that we have. Which is 600 gold. Got that in our runes. Rumble's out of position. We can hit him with our ghosts here. I really might just kill him before the ghosts get there. The, uh, the candy mini got in my way, but I hit him with my W anyways. Also got the black shield on Irelia. Wow. I was already kind of low on health, and I didn't have Black Shield for that. I think Yumi's going to keep perma DCing. It almost looks like she's getting docs, like coming in and out like that. I think that Elise is calling me bad. Like, that was a bad play, but she's the one who's 0 and 3. <laughs> We're 7 0 and 8. Best score in the game with more CS. That's funny. Funny guy, dude. We'll just black shield him here. We'll use our ghost. That needs to get on him, though. He's taking his sweet time. 
We missed our snare. That's really bad. We're gonna ult him. Now we just snare him point blank range after our ult, and he basically just can't move. Cyan doesn't have Glacial Augment, so if he did, my Black Shield would actually be really good. But basically all my Black Shield would be doing is cutting into his Sunfire damage. And does this do magic damage? Blah, blah, blah. Deals 2% max health. Doesn't say what kind of damage it does. So I'm not sure. So the Black Shield, when Cyan's dead at Chasing Zed, it does very minimal. If you had Cyan had Glacial Augment or Frozen Mallet, anything like that, then it would help more. We could definitely back here. Kind of want to push our advantage though because Yumi keeps DCing and I don't want to play late game 4v5. Yeah, he's, he's scared. We got him nervous. Just kite it around in your soil. You can take less damage doing this. It's also... You need to keep it in the soil though. <laughs> if I had my thing up, I could have nearly killed her there if my W was up when I did that. Morgana's Siege is pretty good because you can clear waves and if she lands a Q, it's actually pretty devastating. Like, that's a lot of damage cons looking at my build. Like I don't have Void Staff, Rabadon, like anything like that. I got Black Shield on Vayne. It's not like they could CC her anyways. You, like you see the, the power of this against their comp. If they had a Zerath or something, that might give us more trouble. But since we outrange everyone on their team, the Morgana jungle pick is actually very hard for them to deal with. Yeah, the Elise is very toxic, I can tell just from the all chat. Land the snare. Ulti. Got him. Not bad. And in these fights, since we're engaging... I normally, so I can land my snare and I'm stepping up, I'm black shielding myself a lot, but if they were engaging on us, I would be using black shield a lot more on the vein when they go to CC her, but they can't really get to her since I'm kind of the one in front right now. Just gonna hit him with the snare, W, hold him still. I shouldn't have wasted my black shield on Irelia there, that was pointless. Minions keep getting in the way of my snare, rip. Uh, we should just pull off here, I'm sitting on a lot of gold. I'll just use my ghosts, run away, get my teammates out. Really good disengage tool. Now we have our... We'll get hourglass. I don't want to die. I have too much shutdown gold. And we'll go for GLP. You know what? We'll actually go for Athenes here. We could go for GLP. It'd be very good. But the Athenes will be really nice as well. It'll give us some MR cut into his... They have a lot of flat magic pen with double flat magic pen uh, Elise. They also have the flat magic pen rumble with his boots. So getting this little bit of MR will 30 magic resist. And that only does 18 magic pen. So it will make us tankier than what his boots cut into, which is really nice. And it's also going to be a nice little shield heal for the vein. I don't, my, my ghosts are on cooldown. Black shield did that. Yeah, this guy's fucked. Got my W down. Going to blue smite. I'm going to ulti. Use my ghosts. Wait, where's my team? That's weird. I don't know where my team went. I need to get my W down again. That was an awkward fight. That was so weird. I felt like it was me in there. And then all of a sudden, my, my teammates were there with me. Like two of them. And then they just disappeared. Not bad though. Fun game, guys. I hope you learned something on how to play some Morgana Jungle. If you want to see the runes, the items, level order, everything all at once, go to the very start of the video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.